today's video, I'm going to be doing a Sephora shop with me. I have not filmed one of these, I want to say in a little over a month. And every time I do go to Sephora when I'm not filming, I purposely don't buy anything because I always want to like write in my notes all of the products that I want to try and I want to save them for when I do film my Sephora videos. And I know that you guys absolutely love when I film these, so of course I have to film another one. So we're gonna go ahead and leave right now, it probably takes me about 10 minutes to get there, and we're gonna go ahead and shop and find some cute makeup products and skincare. Okay, so first we're at Sol de Janeiro, and they have the new scents. I've already smelled all of these, and I don't really like them that much. But this one right here, the Rio Radiance, this is my favorite scent of all time, so I'm definitely gonna get a restock of this one. And I also love the way that this one smells, but I think I wanna get the cream of this one because I don't have the um, cream of this. I only have the little perfume. Okay, so we're in Makeup by Mario right now, and I've heard that their contour stick is super good. I have a lot of contours that I've been trying out recently. I don't really need a new one, but when I run out, I think this is definitely gonna be the next one I'm gonna end up getting. And their blushes are also so pretty as well. I like how much product comes like in the container and I've also heard like mixed reviews but I'm not really much of a foundation person so I just never really get a lot of foundation but I think if I did I would get this one. And the Fenty lip cream also looks really good but I heard there's a dupe for it in like Target by Maybelline I'm pretty sure. And the Fenty blushes look so pretty also but I just wish there were like more product in the container. But yeah for 24 bucks for like this little product I don't really think that's that good. I mean it could just be me. And as you guys know I talk about these highlighters a lot. I've been wanting to try them but like for 40 bucks I don't know I just feel like I wouldn't get as much use out of it but like they're so pretty though and the sephora brand i see all of the time but i never really see anyone like try any products from it so if you guys would be interested in like seeing me do like a full face of sephora makeup that'd be super fun and this is another product i've been wanting to try for so long i just never ended up getting i want to try the maracuja from tarte and i've been wanting to try the raspberry one so luckily they have it so i think i'm gonna get this and these colors oh my god they look so vibrant look how red this red shade is but i've never seen this before so this might be new or i just have skipped past it but like these the formula looks super like balmy like a lip balm kind of and i also see this concealer all the time i think this is also new because the shape tape has been around for a while but i've been seeing this recently i definitely do not need another concealer whatsoever but i just like how cute the mini sizes are but you guys already know that this is one of my favorite concealers i love the nars ones but i just think they're so good and i have the mini size and it's been lasting me a good while as well and i think it kind of gives me the tart vibes almost and i've always loved the little mini sizes of the benefit like makeup products like even though they're so tiny they're so cute and i've been seeing the one size brand everywhere i kind of want to try something from them but i don't really know what i hear a lot of good things about the setting spray but i already have so many setting sprays and also the blurring powder looks super good as well and we're back at nars again and every time i come in here i always want to try one of the blushes but they're always like 32 bucks and it's just i feel like that's kind of pricey but then again it's nars and it looks really good but this is the shade i've been wanting to try this like purple one it looks so pretty okay you guys so we're at another sephora right now i already picked up a couple things from the other one that i went to but the main reason I'm going to another one right now is because one, my camera died. I thought it was charged. It was not. So I just gave my camera another like maybe 30 minutes to charge. I'm probably going to give it a little bit longer as well. The Sephora that I usually go to, which is the one I filmed at previously, that one is a smaller Sephora and there's usually not as much stuff in that one. So I thought it'd be more fun to go to like a bigger Sephora. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna let my camera charge for like another 10 more minutes or so and then we're gonna head in there. So we're in a different Sephora right now and they have the new 
uh, lip mask from Laneige. This is the lemonade one. I already have so many lip products from Laneige. I have the mango one, I have the gummy bear, and then I also have the berry one. So I really don't need this, but maybe when I run out, I might pick it up. And from Glow Recipe, I've been wanting to try the Blur Drops for so long. I think I actually might pick it up right now just because I have a bunch of radiant primers, but I don't really have anything blurring. And I've also tried out the Hyaluronic Cream. I think it's okay. I don't think I'll be repurchasing it. I just don't think it was as moisturizing as I wanted it to be. But this brand is just so pretty. I love their packaging so much. Their eye cream is also something I'd be interested in trying, but I'm just gonna wait till I run out of my other ones and pick this one up. And Super Goop is right here as well. I've been seeing this uh, new glow screen recently, and this is kind of the dupe for the dew drops from Drunk Elephant, and I think that's kind of what they were going for. And they also have lip products. I've never seen Super Goop lip products before and this is SPF 30 which is so good I don't think I even have like a good like SPF lip balm and this has been one of my favorite products recently this is the glow stick and I just take this to the beach with me or tanning and it's SPF 50 and I just put this on my face it's not super oily because you have to rub it in but it's really really good and from pharmacy I've been wanting to try their new strawberry shortcake melting balm this looks so good but for 36 bucks and as you guys know my favorite moisturizer I might pick up another one but I'm not sure and they have one more lip oil left from Rare Beauty. This isn't the shade that I wanted. I was really hoping they had Honesty, which personally I think would match my skin the best. So I don't really wanna get this unless it's a shade I really, really want. And they also surprisingly have some eye brighteners here. I did not expect these to be in stock at all, but they look kind of fun to try. And what I'm really trying to find today is the Tower 28. Oh, this one right here they're out of stock i was just about to say i wanted to find the rescue facial spray whatever you call it but they're out of stock and i absolutely love the merit complexion stick this is such a good thick concealer if you have like blemishes to cover up i love it this highlighter from say looks so pretty it says it's a blush highlighter so I guess it like acts as both, but this shade looks gorgeous. I also really want to try out this blend and sculpt brush, but I'm pretty sure either Patrick Ta or Makeup by Mario, Mario, however you want to say it, has one of these. I want to try and look for that. And these right here are my favorite contour sticks of all time. They're so good, but the highlighter also looks super pretty as well. I was actually gonna pick this up, but they don't have it in stock, which is so annoying because this shade looks so gorgeous. And I also see a lot of people use this under eye tint from Milk as well. I just love the way the applicator looks. I don't own anything with like a cool applicator like this. And I feel like that would be the main reason I'd wanna try it out. And I've also been wanting to try the Tower 28 lip glosses. I don't really know which color I'd wanna go for. Probably almond. So I think we're gonna pick this one up as well. Everyone also says the Ilia skin tints are super good. So I found the brush that I wanted. It is F2, I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna get this just because I need a good brush to blend in my contour with. And in this Sephora, they have the pink setting powder from one size. I've seen super mixed reviews about this. I just don't know if I want my under eyes to be pink. So I'm over here at Tula and I saw this water cream. It looks so good. I really want to try this out. And Drunk Elephant has the rosy drops, which I've also seen everywhere too. Not as much as the bronzing ones, but I don't really know what this would do. Like, would it just make your face red? I just don't understand that. I've also heard amazing things about the Summer Fridays sunscreen. I thought the SPF was going to be more than 30. I prefer using SPF 40 or 50. And of course they're sold out of all of their lip balms. I have the cupcake one and then I also have this one. I love both of these. 
and the Kosas brand looks so pretty right now. I don't know, I just love the way it's displayed. All of this stuff right here in this section, I've not seen before. I've only ever seen this kind of product from them. And they also have their sunscreen as well that I've been really wanting to try. I have a lot of sunscreens at home, but this one looks really good and it's SPF 40. So I was in Sephora the other time and I saw this lip plumping mask. I tried it on in the store and it looks so good. I already got a lot of lip products already today, but next time I come in, I'm definitely gonna end up getting this. And I had no idea that Ilya has a, a foaming facial cleanser. This is huge. This is actually like a good size bottle for the price it is. So I got this for my mom, which is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, but I also got her the chocolate one, and recently I've been liking brown mascara, so I think we're gonna pick this up. So I'm not really much of a lipstick lip liner girl, but these just look so pretty. This is another product I've been seeing everywhere. This looks so good, the contour and bronzer from Patrick Ta. This just looks amazing, and the packaging is beautiful. I also want a clear brow gel, but I also don't want to spend like 30 bucks on it. So I think we're just going to pick this one up because I just need a clear one. All of my ones are tinted. So we're at the inky list right now and I've already tried their eye cream. I personally really like it. I don't really use eye cream all the time, but I've been using this for like the past like three weeks. I think it, I think it's actually really good. And of course we have the ordinary right here. I've tried quite a few of their serums. They're not my favorite just because some of the formulas are kind of sticky, like the hyaluronic acid, but it's still such a good cheap um, skincare brand if you want to like, get started with skincare or anything like that. I've also been dying to try Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream, but every time I see it, I just never want to justify spending $100. And I really love the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. This is definitely one of my favorites. And the Flawless Filter, of course, but I can never get myself to buy it because I already have the e.l.f. dupe, which I already know is like the same thing without even trying out this. And what I like about this Sephora is that they have a Glossier section. I just really like to look, but I do want to get maybe more of the Bomb.coms. I don't really want the Wild Fig and I already have the birthday cake. I'm just waiting for the mint one to come out because that one looks so good. Nothing is better than a nice mint lip balm. Okay, so I'm actually gonna get this one. This is the shade that I wanted and I didn't realize it was right there. So we're definitely gonna pick this one up. So the mini section of this Sephora is so good. I saw this youth extending hydrating fluid from Paula's Choice. I really wanna try this one out, see how this works for me. And unfortunately, Benefit doesn't have the um, golden pink highlighter that I wanted. I already have this one, as you guys know, but I really wanted to try the pink one. And I also see the Gucci makeup brand everywhere. I've never tried anything. So if you guys have tried anything from this brand, let me know how the makeup is. I've always wanted to know. Okay, I'm still filming from my phone right now. But I have all of my Sephora stuff. I put it all in this bag and I got a bunch of good stuff. And when I get home, I'm of course going to show you guys a haul because I know, oh my God, because I know that you guys love the little haul section at the end of every shopping video. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to drive home right now and then I'm going to show you guys a haul when I get home. Hey guys, so I have a Sephora haul. I got... A lot more stuff than I usually get when I do a Sephora haul. I just saw a bunch of things that I've seen all over TikTok and Pinterest and I'm like, okay, I will figure out a use for this. But honestly though, most of the stuff I actually did really need and a couple things I actually just got to try out because I thought it would be fun. So the first thing I got is the Sol de Janeiro um, cream. I already have another one of these but in the basic um, scent, the one that everyone knows. But I don't have it in the, um, I don't even know what this is. Like what number is this? 68. I don't have it in 68 and I'm almost out of my other one. So it was definitely time for another restock on this. Next, super random, but I got a clear brow gel and this is just from the Sephora makeup line. I honestly feel like I don't really need a super high-end brow gel just because 
I feel like they all kind of do the same thing. I could be wrong, but I just wanted something super basic for when I don't really want to put on a lot of heavy makeup. Moving on, I really wanted a brown mascara and I used to love the regular Better Than Sex mascara, so I decided why not get it in the brown and see how I like that. I already know I like the look of brown mascara on me, so yeah, I decided to pick this one up. I also have gotten this from my mom before and she really likes it. So I just thought, why not get one for myself this time? Next, I got the Glow Recipe Strawberry BHA Pore Smooth Blur Drops. And like I said earlier, I don't really have any primers that like blur my pores. Most of the primers that I do have just kind of make my skin radiant and glowy and stuff. So I decided to get one purely because of the fact that I could just blur out my face a little bit, which is sometimes the look I'm going for more. Next up, I got the Maracuja Juicy Lip from Tarte. This I've been wanting to try for months, for months, but I just never ended up getting it. But this time, after thinking about it for so long, I decided to finally pick it up. What I like to do is if I wanna get a product, I don't get it straight away. I usually give it like a few weeks or so. And then if I'm still thinking about that product in like three weeks and I still really want it, that's when I end up getting it. Just so I know that I'm actually gonna get a use out of it. Moving on, I got the Makeup by Mario um, F2 brush. I needed a brush so bad for my contour. I've been blending it with a foundation brush and a beauty blender. So I just really wanted a brush that's like meant for contour. I also got another restock of my favorite Sol de Janeiro scent of all time. This is the Rio Radiance. I thought this was limited edition, but I think it's only just the cream. So I decided to get another little mini restock. I'm almost out of my other one that I keep in my bag all the time. Next up, I got this Milk Makeup um, highlighter and I saw this in the store and I really wanted to get this shade. And I guess I was just blind in the store because I did not see that they had this shade in stock. I was saying that I was upset that they didn't have it in stock. So I asked the lady if maybe she could like look in the back and see if they have any more. And she's like, oh no, it's right there. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I'm really happy that I actually found the shade that I wanted. This is like the pink shade, but it doesn't really look super pink. It looks more like champagne, I guess. And I also love the Paula's Choice Liquid Exfoliant. And I decided that maybe it'll be fun to try something else from that brand. And I got the Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid. This also has SPF 50 in it. I, I read it as 30 originally. Oh, this is actually for oily skin. I don't have oily skin. Oh, that's kind of annoying. We're gonna try it out anyway, but I guess this is just like something to hydrate you or whatever. I don't really know. I saw it, I thought it looked cool. I wanted to try it out. It was only $12 and I'm like, okay, why not? And the final thing that I got is the Tower 28 Milky Jelly Lip Gloss. I've been wanting to try this for a while. I also had one of you guys comment on one of my videos recommending me this, and I always wanted to get it, but when I read that comment, I'm like, okay, that is my sign to get it. And yeah, I'm so, so happy about that. And yeah, that is everything that I got from Sephora. I am so excited for everything. I cannot wait to try everything out. Yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you all have an amazing rest of your day, and I hope to see you guys all in my next video. Bye.